this video, we'll take a look. <clears throat> in this video, let's take a look at Nate Lashley's golf swing. PGA Tour player, great story, just amazing guy to root for. And he has a lot of movement waggling before he gets going. But great routine, style player, kind of a throwback player to some degree. Looks like he's very much feel-oriented, not too mechanical. And when he gets it going, the driver has a beautiful draw, and the irons are deadly accurate. So let's take a look at his swing and see what you can learn from it that might help your game. The best part of his game to me is really when he gets these shorter clubs going. And he does do the same thing every time, so his routine is extremely sound. But really what I see is when he plays these shots probably from 150 yards in, 160 yards in, he keeps the club face extremely square. So as he goes up and comes down through the hitting area, as he comes into it through the hitting zone, he's very good at keeping the club moving and tracking to the left, especially the grip end to the left. He certainly moves a little forward. He moves a little up and down with his golf swing posturally. There's a little bit going on there, extra movements. But his feel as a player through his hands and his arms of where the club face is, where the plane is through this part of the swing. So he's tracking that plane. That really is just the highlight of what I watch. And when he comes through here, that club face is not twisting over. It kind of, it's kind of a recoil finish where he brings it back down. And imagine the club face, we'll see in another video, but with the club face sort of matching the back of his left hand there, it is not rolled over whatsoever. He's very good at keeping the club face from whipping over and creating extra speed or directional problems. And that really, he hits so many shots close to the pin, it's amazing for all the movement that you see in his golf swing. For another wedge shot here, we can see, gets the club up the plane quickly, some good hinge gets it up there and the lower body leading very good transition move it's not armsy at all but he does have great awareness of the hands and arms for the club face position here the left wrist totally flat coming in which means he's got control of that club face to not be too open and then watch that grip go left it's amazing that frame right through there, those two two three frames through there where it looks like the handle is sort of leading the club head keeping it from twisting over. And there you go, that hang on move. You can just see the hands there, left wrist up to the sky. So you know the face is still up to the sky, which totally controls distance and direction. Now for the driver swing, setup even looks a little unconventional, sort of rounded, sort of reachy. Looks like he's really reaching out for that ball, a little disconnected at the beginning and extra sort of movements going on, little shifting and moving with waggles and foot movements and body movements, but all that to keep rhythm and flow. And you can tell he's a rhythm player, just has amazing tempo and flow to his golf swing and talent. I mean, he's just a totally natural player. Once that club's up to the top, just lets it go. It's a lot of nice draws which you'd expect that club coming down sort of inside out. He's going to create a lot of shapes like this with his golf swing with the driver and a lot of really, really straight iron shots because of holding that club face so still through the hitting zone. One more iron shot here. Another look at an approach shot. We can see at the top of the swing, very strong looking club face position there. Certainly not open at all. A little closed, if anything, left wrist totally flat. As he starts it down, just something you can really take away from this video is how well he changes direction. And when he first starts down, left arm stuck to his chest there. Left arm is just not pulling off the chest. The arms are not doing anything to send the club downward or outward or anything else. It's just the lower body is moving. The core is moving, this the hips and legs and everything's moving first from the bottom. And then the arms come down just because everything's naturally unwinding. And that allows him to keep those hands extremely passive. Then on the way through, when he recoils this thing down, you can just see that club face. He's just holding that thing through impact. I love that look of the club face. Being so open at that point, you can just tell he, 
sure something you just learned as a kid, how to keep that face square through impact and feel it and direct it at the target. For any of you, for anyone who struggles with their pitch shots, this is a great video to watch here. You can see club face control as he goes up. Club face already square, not twisting open at all. Some may call that a closed club face. I call it a square one, certainly square to the, the plane. And as he starts it back down, returning it right back down to where it started, going left, feet very, very passive, no jumping around going on. And there's that club face, zero twist, zero turnover at this club face on the way through, which allows him to control the fact that there's no, there's no release. So without a big release, you don't lose distance control. And without a club face twisting, you don't lose directional control. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video of Nate Lashley. Just a great short iron put. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video of Nate Lashley. Been a blast to look at his golf game and Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Nate Lashley, sort of an old school player, a lot of movement, a lot of moving parts. But wow, the short irons are amazing. And when his rhythm is great, he'll get that long game figured out, driving it in the fairway. Clearly amazing routine, process type player. And I can't wait to watch his career and see how good he becomes in the future.